The more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are LRadio.net, Stacey Sturm. And in with me for another segment, we're talking about caring communities. We have Karen Van Fossen from Prevent Child Abuse, North Dakota. We also have Cody Sletton with uh, Sources of Strength. And we have Dan Eastgate with Sources of Strength. How's it going today, guys? Great. Very good. Here. Thank you. Thanks. Great to be here. You're the best, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> he follows directions so well. I need to keep him around. So let's talk about this great award now. First, Karen, tell us about this award. Um, tell us about who who's eligible for this, and then how did you pick your winners? Well, we uh, have developed the Caring Community Award because we've come to understand that one of the primary risk factors for families with child abuse is isolation from the community. Yeah. So we want to look at ways that communities in our state are wrapping around families to help reduce risks and, and build the strength of families. So that's what we're doing. And uh, communities for us are pretty broad. It can be a neighborhood, a church, a business, a nonprofit, um, a club. Oh. And uh, this year we have been uh, very grateful to receive some wonderful applications. And we were thrilled to uh, present this award to Sources of Strength. So now the application process, where can people get applications if they want to nominate a group or a club or a business or something? Thanks for asking. Yeah, you're welcome. You can, go to our, <laughs> you can go to our website, which is pcand.org. That stands for Prevent Child Abuse North Dakota, pcand.org. And the application's right there. Perfect. So now you said um, one of your winners was Sources of Strength, and that's why we have Cody and Dan. And so why don't you guys tell us what you do? Hi, so this is Cody speaking. Um, uh, Sources of Strength is a uh, strength-based, uh, you might say, community wellness program uh, focusing a lot on suicide prevention with teens. Um, we go into schools all around the nation um, and uh, train peer leaders on how to focus on strengths in their lives and how to share that with the rest of their community. Um, when did you guys start up? How old is this? Source Strength was started by Mark Lomary uh, in a, the late 90s. Okay. So. Yeah. So then what is your job there? Uh, I'm the communications director and also a trainer, so I handle uh, just running the office, um, social media stuff, printed goods and all that. But I also travel to about 10 to a dozen schools here in the state um, training groups. Do you like do you like traveling to schools and working with the kids? Is that your favorite part of your job? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If not, I was going to say that's what you should say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the printed goods. Yeah. I, like the printed goods. <laughs> I have a really Facebook, nice computer. Yeah. I like have a nice computer. I like to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Dan, tell us about what you do. Yeah, I also help out with training. Um, I went to a train the trainers that Mark Lomery took me to. Uh, last year down in Denver and so they bring people in from all across the country and send them back to their home states to work within schools and community groups and uh, so now here at Bismarck High and Century High and the Source of Strength is also at Shiloh um, I've been able to come in and be a trainer with that and the great thing about Source of Strength that attracted me to want to be a trainer for is that the proactive approach it takes to spreading messages of, of hope and help and strength um, just spreading wellness throughout a whole school and it, it pairs up uh, peer leaders with trusted adults, and, and that's really how Sources of Strength is effective and makes an impact within the school, is that it's not kids uh, being junior counselors, it's pairing them up with that caring adult that can get them to the next resources they might need. And, and Gives them the guidance. That's guidance. right, you bet. So what do you think makes Sources of Strength so special? What what makes it work? Is it that adult supervision? Is it being, being able to sort it, of be a, a, a friend and also a, a kind of like a guidance at the same time? Um, I think all the, all the power comes from pairing the kids with adults. Mm -hmm. um, you know, without the kids, the adults are just never going to get into the real deep uh, recesses of the community. You know, the kids are right there with, you know, the rest of the kids, with the rest of the student mm -hmm. body. Um, but without the adults, the kids aren't going to have the resources to, you know, find the most appropriate help um, and strength. What are your guys' biggest needs? If you could wave a magic wand over the world, what's what's your biggest need? What do you want? What do you need? You are, you're expecting simple questions. You're like, yeah, that stupid radio lady just going to ask us what our name is and give us a website. <laughs> I, think, I, I think, again, we've said it a couple times, but really just connecting 
kids with adults and letting them know that there are adults out there that, that care about what they have going on in their life and that um, can be trusted and that they have a listening ear for them. And that kids also can then um, go to their, their student, their friends, um, who can pair them up with those folks. And so that's the great thing about sources is that it really, it takes what we do in a training, in an all-day training with students and their, some of their teachers or counselors or coaches and different folks in the school, and it takes <coughs> it into the locker rooms and through the hallways of the school. And, uh, and you asked, you know, what, what's so great about source strength? I'd say the other thing is it's fun. We, oh, yeah. we, we do a lot of fun and dynamic things. Um, Cody and I do not just show up at a school and start training and do a PowerPoint for four hours. Oh, because yeah. students love that. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's great. <laughs> They're so disappointed. <laughs> no, it's, um, they have a lot of fun doing it. And so everything, you know, we have games with teaching points. And it's, uh, I would say that every student and staff that's a part of our training leaves there feeling excited and uh, definitely hopeful for what they can be doing in their school going forward. What made you guys get involved with it? Um, you just saw like in a job opening in the paper, and you're like, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, well, I started doing um, freelance stuff for the program mm -hmm. years ago, and I've just we've both grown up knowing Mark and his family mm -hmm. for several years, and knowing what he's about and his heart for um, young people and people mm -hmm. kind of uh, people just you know on the down and out. And, um, yeah, he's worked, uh, people that don't know a lot, a lot about Mark, for years and years, he worked with like law enforcement and, and right. troubled kids through yep. youth probation programs. Yep, and, yep yeah. exactly. So he's got a lot of experience with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I think um, Mark Lomer is the answer to that question. That's mm -hmm. where we got involved. We've seen, like you mentioned, he was, the, I believe it was the director of the police youth bureau for about mm -hmm. 16 years yep, it was. that's when I first <laughs> and, so, and Mark has just been around. I was a kid and he busted, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but the youth culture and, and just seeing how so many <laughs> programs and organizations are often um, reactive. And so you're always, uh, a crisis happens, something happens, and, and Source of Strength, a lot of the stuff that we do comes back to a prevention of, uh, of suicide, bullying, and, and so it is a community school-wide <coughs> wellness program. But um, like we said earlier, it's a very proactive. We're trying to help things before you hit those crisis spots because we know that everybody, students and adults alike, go through tough times in life at times. And so it's trying to equip people to be ready to handle those tough times and to yep. lean on those sources of strength. Yep. So working with kids nowadays, what do you say are their biggest concerns? What are their biggest fears? What are the biggest problems they encounter? Uh, well, we asked them that in these trains. So a training, I should all say, um, will range from... 10 kids to a Bismarck High Century High, we have 120 kids. Um, but we'll ask that question, what's the biggest stress um, you guys feel in, in your community? And um, <laughs> number one is usually homework, um, but after that it's uh, <laughs> relationships, whether that's boyfriend, girlfriend, family relationships. Um, kids today are busy. Um, there's, there's school, there's work, there's sports, there's choir. Um, they just, a lot of kids are spread really thin. Um, so it's just the whole mix of life is busy for kids these days, and mm -hmm. relationships are complicated um, amongst their peers, amongst their families. Yeah. Now let's go to a Prevent Child Abuse North Dakota. If I could wave a magic wand and fix everything, what, what do you guys need to prevent child abuse North Dakota, Karen? Well, if we could wave a magic wand, we would like to see child abuse and neglect reduced to absolutely zero mm -hmm. percent. And we keep holding out that vision that we have to believe that's possible and we have to believe a world, we can live in a world like that. Mm -hmm. So we would like to see that all children and all people are nourished.